Hello and welcome to Out of My Mind. My name is Robison Wells. I'm taking today off not just from my job, but also from the internet. I have just about run out of bandwidth. Mental health is a tricky thing even in the best of times, and this is not the best of times. I have found myself in the middle of a controversy. I have in the past been a vocal supporter of the Me Too movement, and have tried my best to stand up for women who have been harassed. If you're not familiar with the children's literature market, you may not know that earlier this year, three major authors, J. Asher, Sherman Alexie, and James Dashner, were all accused of sexual harassment. This is really tough, because all three of these men have been looked up to for a long time by a lot of people. James Dashner is an institution here in Utah, and has been for two decades. In fact, James Dashner was the first person I was not related to who came to one of my book signings way back in 2004. I love James. I don't condone what he did, and things that he has admitted to, but I love James, and I am deeply saddened by the effect that this has had on the women who have been his victims. This week I find myself in the middle of another controversy. Richard Paul Evans, another prominent uh, author both of adult and young adult fiction, has been accused of sexual harassment, or even sexual assault, depending on who you're talking to and who's defining terms. I'm in the middle of this debate because after the events with James Dashner, I was put on the anti-harassment committee of a writing community which I'm involved in. I don't like being in the middle of this issue. I don't like that it has consumed all of my time this week. I don't like that I have spent this week writing statements and getting feedback and input from writing conferences and talking to reporters, and especially I don't like that I have been having to hear hard, heartbreaking tales of women who have been harassed. Last night as I lay in bed, I thought to myself, I am just going to walk away. I don't have a dog in this fight. I was not one of the victims. I do not know Richard Paul Evans. And the conference where this is all taking place is a conference that I already had withdrawn from long before this news had come forth. But I've decided that I can't. I am going to try to better manage my mental health through all of this. But the whole point of the Me Too movement is that for too long, people have turned a blind eye to situations because they simply were not victims themselves. And truth be told, the ability for me to withdraw is an absolute privilege that I have by being a man. Women do not have the ability to simply withdraw. They have to face the situation day after day their entire lives. I don't want to be in the middle anymore, but I'm not going to walk away either. It's too important. Through the sheer luck of my birth, I am in a situation where I am a man in a world where men have power over women. And if we just leave this issue up for women to fix, because they're the victims and they're the ones with the so-called dogs in the fight, then I am letting the men who use that power use it solely for harassment and not for defense of women. I don't know how I'm going to move forward, but I do know that I can't back out. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon.